Hey everybody, hope you guys are healthy and safe. So the video you're watching right now is shot with these. These are the Ray-Ban Stories, aka the Facebook Smart Glasses. They are basically normal looking sunglasses that has a camera inside for you to shoot video or take photos. Now I think these are really cool because you can capture your point of view as you're going out and about. But there are obviously ethical concerns that we must address. So in today's video, I'm going to wear these out and about for the day to show you footage. So you can see how these sunglasses perform. I mean, they look pretty much like normal sunglasses. Go ahead. These are the sunglasses. If you've seen Ray-Ban sunglasses before, you will recognize these. They look almost exactly like normal Ray-Bans, except the arm, it's a little bit thicker. So, so there are actually two cameras built into the frame of the lens. There's one right here and one right here. Both of these are five megapixel shooters, but for the most part, right now, you're only using a single lens when you're filming or taking videos. So to begin filming, there's a button up here. You just have to press once and it'll begin filming. Or you can actually use a voice assistant. You can say, hey, Facebook, and a digital assistant will pick up and then you can tell it to start filming. Now, in addition to the cameras, you can also wear these to listen to music and take calls because there are speakers down here. So now we need to address the ethical concerns. These sunglasses look just like normal sunglasses. And when you're recording, the only indication that there's a camera is this little flashing white light right here. And you see how hard it is to see even holding this close to the camera. When I'm actually wearing these further away, there's no way you can tell that the light is on that I'm filming people. So obviously this raises the concern of privacy issues because you can be filming people without them knowing. And particularly for perverts, they can wear these to film like women on the streets, you know, women on trains. So it's quite problematic. And the fact that Facebook and Ray-Ban made this light so faint, it's, it's actually pretty bad. And, and the PR tries to spin it. They're saying that you can see this light from 25 feet away. That's all BS. The point is, when I've worn these and every other reviewer, when they've worn these around the city and they're filming, nobody knows they are being filmed. So really, these glasses hinges on the owner being responsible, being a good person, not using this to film stuff they're not supposed to film. Now, for me, these are very useful because as you know, I always run around town doing camera shootouts, all that. So sometimes I have two phones, one phone in each hand and I'm filming. So now I can use these sunglasses to film my phones as I'm filming to show, you know, like B-roll footage. And also in Hong Kong, there are a lot of these uh, little shops with really cool interior. And often I, I want to take a picture or film what's going on in there. But if you take out a smartphone and just stand in front of the store, people will probably yell at you. So with these now, I can capture, with, you know, without them knowing. Now I know this is also, I guess you can argue, unethical, but I think it's not as bad as filming women because that's actually like a store that's open to the streets anyway. Like anyone that walks by can see it. So obviously these sunglasses require charging because they are a gadget. So there's a little electronic pogo pin right here that you just line up to put into the case. There's a slot right here. Just line up the sunglasses like that, close it, and you should see a light saying it is charging. This is a really nicely built case and the case itself can be charged via USB-C. Now on a full charge, you can only get about 40 minutes of filming. So that's actually not a lot, but um, you just have to bring a portable battery to top up the sunglasses. Now as mentioned earlier, you can also listen to music when you're wearing these and you can control music playback by tapping or swiping this panel. This is a touch sensitive panel. So double tapping will start playback, double tapping again to stop. And then when you slide up and down, that will change the volume on your phone. And yes, these glasses can pair with Android or iPhones perfectly fine using Facebook's app, Facebook V. Okay, so right now you're watching video footage captured by the Ray-Ban stories. Obviously five megapixel camera, so not the sharpest footage around. The aspect ratio is also a little bit weird because it's a square aspect ratio. And our resolution is 1184 by 1184, so definitely unconventional video resolution and aspect ratio. But the point of these is to record videos for social media. And that's why there's a 30 second time limit. You Okay, so I'm going into the Hong Kong train station right now to take a train somewhere. So you can see Hong Kong Island across.
in a part of Hong Kong called Dong Chong. I am gonna take a taxi to a fishing village because tonight there's gonna be a lantern festival in the village. So I am here in Tai O Fishing Village. So I'm recording right now. You just have to press the button once to record. If you want to take a photo, long press to grab a still photo. This is the fishing village. So obviously this has become a tourist hotspot, so there's a lot of people selling these uh, local snacks and uh, stuff. Oh, for a phone camera, comfortably, but I can do so with well sunglasses. So it's been about two hours since I took these glasses out at full charge, and you can see all this down to 41%. I have been filming a lot, but like I said, if you're going out and about all day like I am today, if you film like, like 10 clips, you're already down to like half half your battery life already. So you're gonna need a portable charger. So see how useful Ray-Ban stories are? I'm filming my experience right now completely hands-free. I don't need to, you know, take out my phone and mess around. But of course, privacy is a concern because nobody knows I'm really filming right now. So I know the locals don't like that there's so many tourists here. Like this bridge, you know, normally it's very easy to cross, but today it's gonna be packed like this. So the lanterns have lit up, but um, the sun hasn't fully set yet, so it's still a relatively bright scene right now, but it's getting nice. So personally for me, someone who lives in a dynamic city with a lot to film and really likes to film, the Ray-Ban stories are really awesome for me because I can film everything from my point of view hands-free. But like I said, the potential to use the glasses for, for shady stuff, for perverted stuff is really, really high. I think Facebook and Ray-Ban should do the right thing. And with the NYX model, they have to make that light bigger and also make that light maybe red or something. So yeah, this is the Lantern Festival. Look at how packed it is. Okay, I feel absolutely ridiculous wearing sunglasses right now at night, but I just want to show you guys a uh, nighttime video footage shot with the Facebook, Facebook or oh, Ray-Ban Ray stories. Oh. And then there's, there's a, a cute dog, dog here. here. Hey, hey doggy. So, so I can't, I can't see nighttime footage, footage here, but, but I know it's not gonna look too great. I would say quality's on par with like a, like a $300 Android phone right now. Um, I think that's okay though, because once again, the cameras are almost invisible. So the Ray-Ban stories retail for 299 US dollars. I know to some people that's gonna be a little bit expensive. I do think the price should be, maybe take $50 off of that, 250. Um, and I think it'll be fair because real Ray-Bans, like normal ones are already $150. So I think if you're paying $150 for Ray-Bans, then I think you can pay 250 for Ray-Bans with cameras inside. But like I said earlier, the potential to misuse this technology for you know shady activities is far too high. But if you have your moral compass right and you know you're not gonna do anything shady with these glasses, you're just filming day-to-day -day life, these are definitely a hell of a lot of fun. So anyway, this is it for the video on the Ray-Ban stories. If you're interested in more content like this, please subscribe to my channel or follow me on Instagram at Ben's Gadget Reviews. Thanks for watching.